Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to use group by option in the list view and what is the purpose. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to set width of the list view specific colon, right? And how to hide also labels in the list view, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblens channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo development tutorial and right now we are working on this playlist. If you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available. All right. So let's back to our main topic. Guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. Plus you will also get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions. So let's back to our main topic what is the purpose of the group by option right now i'm not talking about the group by options right here let's say let me refresh the screen one more time here let's say this group by option for example advanced gender right so not i'm not only talking about this group by option but let's say a specific relational model right uh, for example, let's say the select schools, right? You can see the school and particular students available here, right? So like this way, if I'm trying to extend like this way, but let's say I want to go to the specific school, right? Then what I have to do is like I have to open the form view like this. So it will automatically open the student profile. And after I go to like this way, it will automatically redirect me to this school profile, right? This is you can consider this is the many to one field, right? Uh, here, there is a one more button you can add here. So that is the group by option. Okay. So not only this group by, but this group by option available in the list view. So how we can do that one, right? So basically, if I'm going to here in the inventory, right, I'm giving you the live example, right? And if you click to here, and if you select the product, right? And if you click here, then you can see this button is available, right? The, once I click here, right now, uh, based on the condition, it won't be work. But you can also do the same operation in your custom views or let's say in the existing view, you can also extend like this way. So how we can do that one, right? In this student profile. So I hope you understood the basic concept, but let's do in the practical, right? So first thing is I'm going to the student uh, in the view in the student underscore view dot XML file. Oh, well, we did a lot of stuff here. So for example, let's say this is the school underscore ID, right? Now here, let's say we have to provide here group by option like this way. Okay. Here. Uh, we have to provide which group by option you want to display that specific button. So in my case, I want to use the school underscore ID, right? After that, we have to provide here the dummy button. Okay, so dummy button, it won't be work like normal, but in a special case, right? There is a one button, the pattern we have to use. So in case you don't have any specific custom method or the existing method you want to link here or the specific action, right? Like I, I mean the server action or the windows action. In case you don't know anything about this part, forgot about everything. Now focus in this button only, right? So here let's say the button, right? Type equal to edit, right? Then after name equal to also edit and simple we can use here the icon as a let's say far edit and title also like let's say edit so i want to just edit the school profile okay so that's why i'm using like this way and by the way if you search in this add-ons right here you will get a lot of examples the existing examples so i'm also using that one only right so once i copy this module uh, try to upgrade this module from this PyCharm terminal, right? If you don't know how to configure or do in PyCharm like this way, please check editor level playlist. I already explained everything. Let's see here. For example, if I'm click to here, right? Now, what we have to do is we have to go to in the search view in this group by and we have to select the select school, right? And now you can see this is the normal one. Now, once I click here, boom, you can see this button is available, right? You can see here. 
all right and once i click here now you can see it will automatically redirect to the school profile right now let's see here uh, without the this group option right uh, let me go to again in the school and once refresh the screen i'm going to again in this school profile right now you can see if i want to go to the school profile directly from the student profile so first thing is i have to click to this list view record it will automatically open the student profile right here you can see this school is there so once i click here after it will automatically open this form view right so this is the main purpose let's say if you have a relational field here right and someone want to go to directly to the, that specific view only uh, i mean the form view only so this option this group by tag right it's very useful so let me again upgrade the module refresh the screen and meantime let me check one more field which is the many to one field all right so we don't have too much many to one only we have a one so let's forget about that part let's go to the school and here let's go to this invoice now you can see uh, right now we don't have any any invoice right so first thing is let me add like this right and now you can see right now if i want to open that invoice right so what i have to do is like this way right first it will open the school and then after i have to click to this option and one more thing is this option is sometimes not available right by default uh, many many to one field also automatically have an option to hide this button we will see this part in our upcoming session but i'm just giving you the idea why we need this one right so instead of open this profile the main profile and we can directly go to that relational model right using like this way so using this group by option you can also do um, many things plus one more thing is you cannot only use this button but you can also use such button type equal to object right uh, name equal to let's say that specific method we can see here let's say here def abc test print abc test and self okay and let me copy this method name name ah sorry string click here right and now i am trying to upgrade this module so one more time i'm going to the list view let me refresh the screen okay so we have some error message so let's see abc test is not valid action on wp.school okay so this is my bad actually uh, i have to use under the school not in the student right so let's pass here now let me again upgrade the module and let me minimize this one and again refresh the screen boohoo you can see now uh, let's say this is the student profile let me group by school and now you can see this button and this button right once i click to this button so it will perform the specific operation but here uh, pause this video and tell me which what is the output of the self right all right so let's say the self is this one this school only this original sunny leone 
school, right? Let's see here. You can see here the school one, right? Let's verify. So once I click here and now you can see here ID one, right? This one, you can see the one. So here you can also see the one record set. So if your answer is the specific uh, record set of this one, then you are the right. All right. So yes. So this is the main purpose of this group by option in the list view. If you still have any doubt related to this topic, please comment below and see you in our next session. And our next session would be how to add headers in the list view. All right. So see you there.